Welcome to Alternate Nostril Breathing. This is probably one of the weirder practices that we'll be asking you to do here at VYP, but I invite you to give it a try because it really is one of the more powerful exercises that you can do to bring you instant relief when you need it. What we'll be doing in this practice is slowly changing the way we breathe by breathing through one nostril at a time. We'll be changing which nostril we're breathing in and out of, back and forth. And we know from studies that this literally slows down the brain and the nervous system with no bad side effects. By reining in your attention and alternating what you are sensing, it puts a break on the hyper mind or the hyper vigilant mind. Initially, it's a little complicated, but if you go slowly and keep a sense of humor about it and maybe practice a little bit, you should get the hang of it pretty quickly. I used to call it the Santa Claus breath because if you remember how Santa Claus got back up the chimney, laying his finger aside his nose, up the chimney he rose. Well, it's similar to what we'll be doing today. So I invite you to start by finding the most comfortable seated position that you can find. You can be seated on a chair, you could be seated on the floor. This is also a practice that you can do at any time, standing in line at the supermarket. You can do it while you're laying at night at bed and trying to get back to sleep. I invite you to start by noticing your breath. Bringing all of your attention and all of your awareness to the physical sensations of each inhale and each exhale. Right at your nostrils. Notice what the breath feels like from the tips of your nostrils all the way up the lining of the nostrils. Not trying to feel anything in particular, but just noticing any sensations that may or may not be present as you inhale and exhale. Next, I'm going to invite you to bring your right index finger gently close right up to your right nostril. And if you press it up against the side here, you can close up your right nostril. And you might start to sound a little funny, but that's okay. That's where we try to keep a sense of humor. And of course, at any point, if you feel uneasy or don't think you're getting enough breath, stop. Check in with your teacher in the next class and maybe they can help provide you some adaptations to make this practice right for you. So now with the right nostril closed, I'm going to invite you just to notice. Notice the sensations of the breath in your left nostril. You might notice that the air feels a little cooler coming in a little warmer going out. I'm just noticing this filling and this emptying. Again, we're not trying to feel anything in particular, but just noticing the sensations of the breath in our left nostril. And then when you're ready, I'll invite you to again take your hand back to your lap or wherever is most comfortable and breathe through both nostrils. And then I'll invite you to take your left index finger and maybe do the same thing on the left side. So that as you take a long, slow, deep inhale, and long, slow, deep exhale, you'll notice the sensations in your right nostril. And so what we're going to be doing is we're going to uh, change which side we're breathing on with each breath. So we can start by exhaling through the left nostril. Inhale through the left nostril. And then when you get filled up, go ahead and switch over to the right nostril and exhale out the right nostril. You can inhale through the right. Switch your finger over to the other side and exhale left. Inhale left. Cross over and exhale right. Again, inhale right. Switch fingers and exhale left. Inhale left. Switch fingers, exhale right. Now I'll invite you to do three more rounds of that at your own pace, using the own, your own natural rhythm of your inhale and exhale.
And when you're done with that, I'll invite you to rest your hands back down wherever is most comfortable for you and notice the breath flowing in and out of both nostrils. And just take a moment to notice, how do you feel? Has your breathing changed? Have your thoughts or the speed of your thoughts changed? Maybe yes, maybe no, there's no right or wrong or good or bad. Just taking a moment to notice what your experience is in this moment. And next time you're feeling a little stressed out or anxious, I'll invite you to try that out yourself. And I'll also invite you to check out the next video where we'll do the same breath without our fingers called mental alternate nostril breath. Thank you for practicing with me today.